All right, ladies and gentlemen, I've been trying for about like an hour or so, and it's just not working. Um, I was using Droll, but I think I'm just scrapping the giant strategy. Um, because what you have to do for Hell Kellak is you have to use a giant for an extra 30% more points. But uh, as you can see here, this is the best team. If you go to individual rankings, it is this team. So yeah, um, here's some other teams if you would like to know. Apparently this team works. I tried this team and it failed miserably for me but okay there you go oh Brunhild oh I really want to try Brunhild now because I feel as though that would be so much better I think I'm gonna try Brunhild um just because I know my Brunhild is like literally maxed out so I'm gonna use Brunhild uh definitely not that link I think I'm gonna use you yeah all right um but yeah let's uh, let's try this team out I know Chandler can work but, dude, I've went through 15 stamina pots, and I'm broke on stamina pots. Um, so, if you guys enjoyed, hit that like button, subscribe, and let's hop right on in. Now, this boss is not worth it. Unless you were pushing guild boss, do not do this boss. It is absurdly RNG-based, absurdly difficult for no reason. So, yeah, let's... Uh, basically, what you want to do is have a king shield up at all times. I'm going to pop this, pop this... And I am just going to, I mean, I could just waste a power strike just to whittle him down a little bit. Sure, why not? Because uh, I was using a withdrawal earlier and I would just throw out his, you know, his uh, single target. Because you can't petrify this unit. So, yeah. Um, on this phase, you obviously want to get through him as fast as possible. You want to hit 300k uh, damage. But you can probably do fairly easily with this team. Uh, on the other team, it was basically always just coming down to king uh ulting or margot ulting and it was usually always be a uh, king so but on the next phase it is ludicrous how much damage uh that this boss deals like it it's actually just like horrifyingly disgusting um so yeah we need to cleanse away these daybells because you have to cleanse away six in order to get uh one of the challenges complete and you get like 30 points or something from that which is pretty good um so you know we're popping the shield every single turn we do decent damage um and, and as you whittle him away he loses more and more of his passive which is pretty darn nice so keep that in mind i think i do i want to rush go through i thought my entire units just died i honestly did um so here he has weak points so obviously what i'm just going to do is i'm going to cleanse because you know weak point um really sucks that i cleansed that turn in all honesty um i think i have to unfortunately or do i just yolo it? i might just yolo it and just go all in Never mind, there's no way I'm doing enough damage. Okay. So I got rid of his pierce, or whatever the hell that was. I got rid of his attack stat as well, so he should do less damage. Which is very nice. Oh, Gother's shield popped. Ah. <sighs> I hate this boss. It's so stupid. It is so dumb. Th this boss is not worth it, guys. It's not worth it. Don't even try. Like, this is the worst boss you've had to deal with. Um, I've seen Esterosa. I, I guess I'll try Chandler, you know, because of the taunt. But I, I don't know how many takes is it taking me. Like, I he's all the way at the top like he always is. All right, we're back. R round 30. Literally 30 runs it has been. Um... I'm kind of getting the hang of it, but honestly, once I get to floor two, it's over. Like, I, I literally don't know what to do. You just take so much damage, it's AoE. You literally can't do anything because I never get a taunt. I can't get a taunt. I get the stupid Chandler debuffs that don't do anything. Like, I, I swear, the u most useless cards you can get are the cards you always get. Okay, that's decent, I guess. I would like... um some uh margaret cards to be honest you know the debuffs but whatever um i think i can rush king ult so if i do this 
Um, this, and then I'm just gonna do this, and then I'm gonna debuff him like this. So that way he can't apply poison or anything, even though I'm pretty sure the poison's gonna proc, probably break my shield. Never mind, okay. Oh, well, I mean, he won't try to go through shields, so that's pretty cool, I guess. Um, so let's do this. Let's rank up Margaret. Let's rank up Margaret. Never mind. Um, let's just do this. Rank up Margaret. That's King. Do this. Rank up Margaret. Cleanse. And then just ult. And we should get the 300k um, AoE or just 300k damage. We have an AoE rank up. Hopefully, you know, maybe we get another Chandler taunt. So we get a rank 3 taunt that we didn't kill. We actually did not kill. I mean, I guess that's fine. Honestly, that's fine. Whatever. Um, so I guess I will do this, this, this. And I guess I will move this. Um, hopefully we just merge into a rank 3 AoE buff. That'd be pretty cool. Oh, okay. I think... I think we just do this, we buff, we shield, and we go through debuff, and then next turn we will rank up again, and then literally do the exact same thing, except instead of go through bomb, we will um, Chandler taunt with the rank 3. That might be the play, I'm not too sure, we're probably dead. Of course, we only got debuff cards. Only debuff cards. Oh my god! I hate it! I hate it! I hate it! Why? Why? Ow! Screw off! Like, literally, just go away! Nobody likes you! God, I wish you could heal HP! Like, it's not even like I could calculate, like, oh, he's obvi he obviously is only going to go for this unit. I'll put a Tarmail link or something on it. No, he completely goes for random units. And I'm just like, who are you going for? Oh, I hate that. I hate that. So, I think I have to cleanse again, because the defense related stat down is no bueno, no bueno. And then we king. God, this king. Th this king shield is so shit. Turn 7, turn 7, and I have one ultimate next turn. It might do 400,000 damage. Might. Come on, Chandler. Come on, Chandler. Come on, Chandler. Come on, Chandler. Just don't go like 400k. 400k. Come on. Just plow. Plow. Bow. Right in the kisser. So. And then I do this. I'm trying to take that HP buff off of him. I don't know how low I have to go in terms of HP. Oh, no, he's going to one shot me. He always does. DK, that makes sense. Oh my God, did we actually beat it? Oh my God, we finally beat it.
But how much score? Like, our entire team is alive, I mean. Like, that is that is what I'm going for at this moment in time. Now, Margaret, do a lot of damage. 500k. Okay. That is the run. I'm not doing any more. No matter what score I get, I, I, I'm done. 6,000 points. 6,000 points. Never do this final boss. Don't do it. It's not worth it. I'm done. I. It's been two hours. I don't care. You want to do it? Go for it. But I'll show you the teams again because I don't know if I'm showing it. And I don't know if I've showed it in this run. This is the best team. This is the best team. So, you know, go for it. You can use the Diane team. You can try the Dairy Crit Strat, which is honestly god-awful. Uh, so, you know, there's that. Bond team somehow worked. I don't know how that worked. Yeah, here, here are the top teams. Okay, uh, I, I'm, I'm done. Uh, peace out and take care. I'm, I'm done. I'm going to bed.